Okay, so it's just barely turning. Let me turn. Let me turn it down just a hair. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down too much. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's barely turning. You got that in there? Okay. okay. Shot of that. Yeah. Stopped. Yeah, it stopped. Okay, let's slow it down. Let it go slow down. Okay, it's barely turning. Now I'm gonna open it up here. You see immediately it speeds up. The circuit's open, and hopefully everybody can see that. And the magnet's actually spinning faster. Before it was stopping, now it's not stopping. The magnet's actually spinning faster. Uh, and again, there's nothing hidden here. I think we should shoot under the table and everything. People probably think there's a magnet under the table. What do you think? Let's, let's just shoot it so people can see. Um, nothing hidden here, nothing, no magnets, nothing. Uh, you know, I get all kinds of emails from these people. <laughs> people, some people, I think they're getting paid to give people hard time. But, uh, and anyway, so it is spinning faster. Now, if I, if I connect, and see, that's an open circuit there. That, uh, those two wires, uh, normally you'd expect zero energy to flow through that system. And yet the magnet is spinning faster. When I connect this up, it'll probably stop. See how much slower that is? Dramatically slower. Dramatically slower. And it's almost, uh, we're keeping it going. I wanted to, it stopped. Now, that just shows you the difference. It barely turns without. Okay. Now, watch. If I get it close to that and I take it apart, see how much that speeds up? Immediately it starts spinning faster. A lot faster. So that right there helps people understand that there's other forms of energy that can be harnessed, which are right out of the environment. Uh, one wire... Basically, one wire is going through one arm, up through your body, through the rest of your body, and right. your other arm, right. completing what's like a human circuit. Yeah, so you correct. could say the human elements here, and that's adding energy to the system, if you want to say it that way. Uh, there's a number of ways to look at this thing, but... Uh, uh, it's fascinating, it's interesting, it has a lot to do with dominant energy. A uh, lot to do with quantum energy, totally harnessable energy that, uh, that uh, man hasn't really tapped to for the most part. And so we do need to get these same type of things. This particular unit was designed to do uh, about 100 watts extra with no input. And we already showed it running without batteries. Um, this will do 100 watts extra with no input whatsoever. And, and it will run for... Uh, for uh, you know, for forever, basically until the parts wear out. I mean, so it's a lot cheaper, and you could we could mass produce these for a hundred dollars. So that's way cheaper than a solar panel. Solar panels are eight dollars a watt, and they only produce power when the sun's shining, which is less than half the time. Um, it's going fairly quickly. At this yeah, point. it's going fast, and and the wires are totally separated. There's only two wires going to this. And this is a this is a delay line motor generator. So there's six inductors, but there's only two wires going to all the six inductors. Those six inductors are connected together in different ways, and uh, so it's not just a standard coil. A lot of people think this is a Newman motor. It's not a Newman motor. Okay, it gets me going too. If it's a Newman motor, uh, it wouldn't run without batteries. Uh, you know, and ours do, and his don't. So you know, people need to get that through their head. Anyway, Joseph Newman's a good guy, and we love him. He's a prophet or a, a man of God, and uh, he's a little, little out there sometimes, but uh, all of us have our issues. Uh, so anyway, that just, just to show people, and when I connect it back together, you see it's slowing way down again. Way down. It's, it's uh, and it probably stopped. Just, there's just, uh, it basically needs extra energy from the environment to keep going, the way it's adjusted right now. And, uh, and it can, it can get that. It's, uh. All the energy can come from the environment. It's not just a, it's not just a, uh, you know, people people say, well, you just did it once. We've been doing it for 200 years. We've done it on literally, uh, probably tens of thousands of machines now, and this is totally harnessable, totally reproducible, totally usable, totally mass producible, and unless something's mass produced, it's that's the way to get it affordable to everybody. So we encourage everybody to come on the tours, see it in person. Uh, we're offering tours. We'll be offering classes on uh, different things, heat engines and water power engines and different types of advanced technologies. Uh, some serious times are possibly coming up, uh, and so people need to learn self-sufficiency. 
So we're inviting everybody to get involved and let's get this thing going. Let's get these machines available to everybody. We do have permission from the highest levels to mass produce these types of energy devices uh, as long as we keep it in their guidelines, which they've given us a list of guidelines. And it's all totally doable. People just need to cooperate to get the funding to get the first factory going. And that's basically where it is. So we invite everybody to do your part and let's make this world a better place. Oh, and let's, let's take one final reading on the battery. Unless, Steve, you have anything else you want to add. No, I'd like to see that reading. Okay. Let's try to put it down. And let's take another reading. I should probably stand this up so it's easier to see over here. And we started at 194.4 and we're at 194.9. So everybody had a chance to see it went up a half a volt. So not only did we, uh, not only did we consume, and not only did we produce useful power that was turning the magnet and producing, you know, regular power, lighting up lights over here and so on, uh, but it uh, also charged the batteries in the process. If we put a meter on the batteries while it's running, you get a higher voltage reading than the whole battery pack. And that right there tells you that it's that it's, the batteries are only used for a split second on each cycle. And on this one, there's about uh, uh, at full speed, it's about uh, a thousand cycles a second, roughly. Uh, so, and and that cycle is divided up into four parts. And there's only one part where it's consuming a few milliwatts, basically. And the rest of the time, it's putting out extra power. The bottom line is this whole experiment, there's more energy in the batteries now than when we started. That's right. And you can even see it while it's running. Yeah, it's, it's totally doable. There's, you can watch our other videos, you'll see uh, a lot of different things producing a lot of power. And that's basically, for alternative energy, that's what people need to get behind. Let's get this thing going. Let's make this happen. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, brother. You take care.